Hey, it's TJ from Probably Can't Fix It, and today we have a Nintendo that we're probably not going to be able to fix. I'm going to insert the, uh, the game cartridge and see what it does. And as you can see, it does nothing. I think what we'll do is we'll install a new game cartridge spring thing and see how that works. So now, since I've got this somewhat out, I am going to take an eraser. We used to have these things in the Marine Corps called PM pencils, and they were in fact just erasers. And they were used for this purpose right here, to clean off contacts. Find a Q-tip. That's pretty dirty. I read somewhere that you're not supposed to use alcohol on these contacts. Not sure why, but they're still they're still dirty. You know what? I am gonna use some alcohol because I'm a rebel. It's either that or brake cleaner. Alright, that side looks pretty clean. Let's let's hit this one with some alcohol. Alright, I will see that's clean enough. Alright, so We've got our new device. How's this sucker go back on there? Okay, so stand by. So this must go on here like so. Especially after I just clean them. Alright. So now, which side goes on? Does this side go on or does this side go on? I'm going to assume it goes like that. Make sure all these pins are lined up. Alright. All right, so that's on there. So, what is next? Put it back in the case. All So I think that's good enough to test. All right, let's test it. So nothing. It does not work. It does not work. Let's try it again. And it's doing the exact same thing. At this point, I'm not really sure what to do. All right, so I do not know where to even begin with this. I replaced the, the cartridge and with a brand new one, and it still didn't work. And of course, every video I've ever watched, uh, you know, that always works. But of course, with me, on the probably can't fix it uh, network here. It's not gonna work with me, so. I guess uh, I really don't know where to start. I do have, I do have some capacitors, but I mean, I think these are the capacitors for the, uh, for my little video, video thing there, so. I don't know, maybe we can pull this off and, and see, see what it looks like under there and see if that, that helps with anything, so. How does this come off? That's the next step. You know, I think I need to go get a prying apparatus and see, it was too cold to be in the garage, so I moved in here. So I'm gonna get a, 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 a pry bar and see if we can't get that off of there. So let's see if we can. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's nice. Guess I should have taken the, oh my goodness, dude. How do you even get in here? Oh my Lord. So one has to assume that one would have to remove all of this to get this off to actually get to what's in there and i really don't think that's the problem i mean i don't see what i mean it could be the problem i suppose but i don't know i do not know yeah this is going to be kind of difficult to get out so well i guess we'll figure it out I thought I got those pins pretty good, but something is definitely holding it. It's got to be those pins right there. Yeah, let's put some low melt. It just takes a teeny amount of this stuff. I'm going to put some here too, just to be on the safe side. Maybe some here too. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Now maybe we can get better access to these 
components. Well, we can see them. The real question is, is how? Hmm. I still fail to see how this has anything to do with my problem, but I don't know what else to do. I wonder if you can take this out right here. I don't think that's going to do anything, but... Well, I suppose we better get all of this low mount solder off of these pads. Well, I think that's good enough to hold. So, so I guess uh, I guess we should try to maybe can check this connector, make sure we don't have any open runs. I can't see where some of these go though. So I'm assuming this is ground. It is. This goes up here somewhere. It's nice that they give you the value of, of resistance. I don't know if that's a diode or what that is. Let me see if I can find the schematic. Maybe that'll help me out. All right, so I got it to work a little bit. Um, it would come on and then it would get locked up. After it started playing the game, it, it would get locked up. So I was checking the voltages. And right now with it off, we have 13.9 volts DC. When I power it on, we're getting 11.45. I'm assuming we're getting 11.39. On this pin, we're getting 5 volts, which is from what I, I found a little schematic. And it seems like that's what this whole thing runs off of is, is 5 volts. It looks like the 11 volts goes to this voltage regulator, which then outputs the 5 volts. And then we also have um, 2.6 volts there. And... 1.3 volts there so I do not know I cannot figure out why it's doing what it's doing but I checked that capacitor that I changed and that capacitor was fine which it, which it, it looked fine I didn't think that was the the issue I don't know I've, I've, I've checked all the runs to the game I've you know I've done everything on the cartridge the only thing I haven't done is pulled off those capacitors and and checked on the front of this board to see maybe if they're bad or something I don't know though but I don't, I, at this point, I really don't know what to do. So, so I think we're going to go ahead and change these caps. These three right here. 
So this looks like it is a 100, 100 microfarad, 6.3. So let's see. All right, so I'm going to use this 100 microfarad, 6.3. Um, so stripe goes to the negative. All right, this is the last thing I'm doing to this device. These capacitors don't fix it. I don't know what else to do other than, the, I mean, a chip being bad, but I mean, it, like I said, it, it, it plays the game, but it'll lock up. Hopefully I'll be able to show you all that. All right, this is what it's doing. It'll start playing the game and then it'll get locked up. If I hit the reset button, Just locks up. I've changed those three caps. Still locking up. So at this point, I do not know what to do. So I plugged this in this morning, and I felt this heat sink right here, and it was getting super hot. Now I don't know that if you initially turn on this device, if that should get like burning hot immediately. I put alcohol on all the other chips, and they didn't get hot at all. But this got really hot, and I realize it's supposed to warm up. But is it supposed to warm up that quickly? I'm I'm not. Sure. Sure. I don't I, it doesn't seem like it should but I'm gonna remove it then I'm gonna ohm it out and check it and see see what kind of resistance values we are getting I know that in diode mode and I could probably look it up but we'll try to figure it out without so if I go from this pin let's let's we'll go from here to here we get 0.5 from here to here 0.5 from here to here 2.8 from here to here 2.9 from here to here, 0.6. From here to here, from here to here, 2.8. But if I flip this around, 0.5. So I think I need to, I mean, how hot is this thing supposed to get? That's, that's what I don't know. That is what I don't know. Because it seems like you cut it on, that gets immediately hot and then it locks up. It's almost like it, it's a stable voltage issue. I'm not altogether certain. Again, I'm a novice, so uh, yeah. Let's let's try and let's try and figure that out. All right, so I changed out that voltage regulator with uh, one from a known good Nintendo that I have, and it did not fix the problem. It, I didn't think there was anything wrong with that voltage regulator, but I guess uh, this one gets hot as well. So I'm assuming that's uh, they just get hot, which is why they they have that heat sink on there. I went through and went over every connection of every one of these chips with my soldering iron to make sure that there were no cold solder joints, and again that did not help it still the game boots and then it locks up i'm gonna have to assume then that one of these either the cpu ram and i'm not sure which of these chips uh are those but uh one of those chips is bad and i could take my known good and start popping and swapping but i don't have a solder sucker and that would take forever um yeah so i i think i think this is without replacing chips that's uh this is a no-go so so just to recap what we've done the original problem it wouldn't display the game we swapped out the 72 pin connect then it started displaying the game but it was locking up so then we changed our power cap in our RF modulator slash rectifier assembly. That did not help. We replaced these three caps on the main board. That did not help. Changed, swapped out the voltage regulator. That did not help. And resoldered every connection to every significant chip on the bottom of this board. And that did not help. So that's all what we did. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else to this. So we will end this video here. And as usual, uh, it's a no fix because I'm having a hard time fixing anything to be honest, except the Xbox, and that's not fully fixed yet. So anyhow, thanks for watching.